What's going on, everybody? Back at it again. Your boy Far in the building. And um, this is a long time coming. I know it's mad late. Game's been out for a year and some change. But I finally stopped being lazy and decided to do a striking tutorial. I know most of my uh, subs are wondering how do I get most of my wins? How do I strike so well? to be getting some of the KOs or just be piecing up my uh, opponents the way I do. You know, and uh, it's all about practice and it's all about patience. The two Ps, practice and patience. So, um, you know, again, everybody knows, everybody knows that I'm a pure stand-up fighter. I want the pure stand-up fighters in the game. I'm not trying to blow smoke up my ass, but uh, I prefer the stand-up. And... This stream here is all going to be all about what strikes that I like to do, I like to use in certain situations, or, you know, when I want to come out and be aggressive and throw the kitchen sink sometimes, you know, what what kind of combos and strikes I like to use that yeah, leads me and gains me victories, you know, right? So, give me one second, y'all. I'm going to um, open up the chat on my phone. So I can communicate with you guys and uh, yeah, get it on the popping. All right, so first things first, movement. All right, everybody knows how to move. Everybody knows what to do on how to move. You you know, you circle the left analog stick, either up down left to go back right to come forward all right so a lot of people i'll say like 85 90 percent of the, uh i'm not even gonna say 90 i'll say like 80 percent 80 percent of stand-up strikers that just want to stand up with you will move forward will press will press and throw the kitchen sink at you all right my preference is patience. Like I said, we're going to do the two P's. Practice and patience. Main one is patience. Patience. All caps. Alright. If you be patient, pick your spots correctly. It will win you a lot of fights here. If you're a stand-up striker. If you're a stand-up purist. It will win you fights. Coming out and throwing a kitchen sink. Like... Soon as the match starts, could be detrimental to your virtual health. All right, if you're not really good at it, you know, being aggressive can lead you to victories. But you know, if you hit and miss, then that's going to be very, 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 very bad for you. But again, like I said, me, I'm a patient fighter. Very, very patient fighter. I move. I try to use all of the octagon. You know, all the octagon. You know, you would preferably want to stay in the middle of the octagon to have control. You know, if somebody keep pressuring you, just keep moving. But make sure you know you try your best to stay inside this uh, in the, inside this space right here, inside this space. Okay, that's one of the main things that everybody should know from the rip. If you're a pure, if you're a real, real MMA. Like, if you know about MMA, UFC, whatever, you should know octagon control is very important. So, very, very important. You need to have octagon control because if you stand out here, if you stand out here and you just run, run, run outside this, I'm going to call it the, the danger zone. If you're outside the danger zone, then, yeah, your opponent really doesn't have to do too much. Your opponent can just come forward, can come forward. And just land like silly strikes like leg kicks, probably jab here and there or whatever. If you're not active, if you just keep running, moving, running, moving outside this danger zone, then you're going to lose the match. You know, so try to use your movement, but try to stay inside this circle, inside the octagon circle at all times. Try. Even if you're outside, you know, again, just keep moving. But make sure you're striking awesome. Make sure you're countering properly. Okay, so 
enough of that. I know y'all wouldn't know, hey, when he's going to strike, when he's going to start throwing punches and kicks. All right. Now, me, my preference, what I like to do is come out and throw my jab. Utilize my jab. Utilize my jab. Beginning of the match, I always like to utilize my jab. So, what I do, come in, boom. Match start, ding, 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 boom. Stop, I'll stop right here. Wait till my opponent gets to the uh, center of the octagon. Boom, dash in, jab, move back. Or, boom, jab, dash back. Pester my opponent with the jabs. Pester my opponent with the jabs. You know, if your fighter is orthodox, right-handed, your jab is the square button. If you're fighting southpaw, if you have a southpaw fighter, if you prefer the southpaw, you know your jab button is the triangle. All right? So, again, what I like to do, come out, boom, bam. Dash in. If y'all don't know the dash in either, all you do to dash in to uh, cover ground, to cover space, is just flick the right analog stick forward. You know, if you're on if you're on the blue corner, you flick it left. You fit you flick it left. If you're on the red corner, you flick it right, real fast. You know, I like to do the step in jab, boom, and then step right back out. Step right back out. Pester my opponents with the jab creates a lot of opportunities for me to start alone with the combos that I like to throw. All right, because your opponent will get very very frustrated. They're going to want to push forward. They're going to want to try to grapple you. They're going to taunt you. They'll be like, come on, pussy. Fight me. Fight me. Stop doing this. Stop running. You ain't throwing jabs. Yada, yada. Hee-haw. And ha-ha. Who loops? So. That's one of the main things I like to do. Okay? The setup is the jab. You know. If, you, if you're a boxing, if you're a boxing fan, boxing peers will tell you that also. You set up the jab and everything else will follow. So, all right. And another thing I like to do to set up and pester my opponents, body kicks. Regular roundhouse body kicks. Regular roundhouse body kicks can also be a pain in the ass for your opponent if you utilize it correctly. All right. You know, and especially you're attacking the body. So, you're attacking the body, you're going to drain your opponent's stamina gradually. It's going to happen. If you hit, if you attack the body, and you keep moving your opponent's missing, trying to retaliate with strikes, then that stamina is going to go down and down and down for your opponent, and that's going to create a lot of opportunities for you. You know, stamina management will create a lot of opportunities for you. So, that's why I don't like to be aggressive or whatever and blow out my stamina everybody knows that from when the game was released stamp should, should know that stamina management all right so throw body kicks throw any type of body strike but i prefer the the lead body kick if your opponent if i say your opponent if your fighter has the lead body kick or throw the rear body kick if your opponent has the rear body kick you know either body kick is you know is good so, again, well, I have Gustafson, and Gustafson doesn't have the rear body kick. I do throw that. I do throw that more so than I do the lead. So, but when I got Gustafson, y'all know I love to use Gustafson. Gustafson is a fucking animal in this game, striking wise. You know, I think he has the best striking in the light heavyweight division. You know, but he, in this game, he doesn't have the, he doesn't have the, um, the rear body kick. He has the lead, though. So, What do you do if you <laughs> What do you do if you're Burrell and don't have any body kicks? Just finish it. Answer. Well, you just going to have to, and that's the next thing I was about to get into. Like, you're just going to have to utilize your body jabs and your body straights. All right. And I think, I think Burrell has a, I think Burrell has the um like the teep kick or like the push kick. See, Gustafson, he has the push kick. And I just found that out a few days ago. 
as many times I've been using Alexander Gustafson, I didn't know he had that teep kick. That teep kick is very, very, very useful. What's going on, Evan? How you doing, bro? What's going on, man? We chilling, man. So, just throw the teep kick and just back up. Throw the teep kick back up. Teep kick back up. But anyways, yeah. So, those are the two strikes I use mainly to start setting up the combos. All right. So, now we're going to get into some some minor combos that I like to do, that I like to throw. All right. So, one of the more useful and like combos I, I do is the jab followed by the power body hook or the roundhouse roundhouse to the body roundhouse body hook okay y'all know this that is like my go-to one two it's fast and it's very very powerful on the low low key all right so Gustafson like people have people People have the power power roundhouse or they have the power body hook. It's two very different variations of the body hook if your fighter has it. So Gustafson has the roundhouse uh, body hook. And say somebody like that has mad power in the hands like Rumble Johnson or like Dan Henderson, they have the uh, power body hook. It's, it's a difference. The power body hook where they wind up. You you'll see the difference in the animation where they wind up and then throw it. Gustafson has the Gustafson has the roundhouse body. He doesn't have the power body, but it's still effective. So to do it, to throw the um roundhouse body hook is L2, LT, and for right-handed. You know, when you throw your straights, it's triangle. So it's L2, L1, and then triangle. Over and right in triangle, like four in triangle. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show y'all. Here we go. That's the power. That's the roundhouse roundhouse body hook. All right. The regular, you'll see the difference in between the regular body hook and the roundhouse body hook. I'm going to show you. I'm going to throw the roundhouse body hook again, y'all. All right. That's the roundhouse body. And you'll see the regular body hook is going to come out much faster. See that? You see the difference? You see the difference? I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. That's the roundhouse body. That's the regular body hook. You know, so. Kai, I know it's late, man, but I'm still going to do it because people have been asking for it. Well, not asking for it, but I said I was going to do it and people wanted me to do it. So, I'm going to do it. UFC 3 don't come out till like late ne uh, late next year, so people are still gonna be playing this game, and people are still wanna gonna be good at this game, get good at this game. If you ever tuned in on Retro Rocky stream, I still see people asking him questions on how do you do this, how do you do that. I want to get better at the game, and he put out a grappling. He put out a grappling video showing how to grapple better, and it was very informative and very useful. If people still want to play this game. So, I'm doing a striking bit. Uh, it's long overdue. I've been was supposed to do this, but just never got around to it till now. But anyways, back to the tutorial. Talk too much. All right, but y'all see the difference. I'm going to do it one more time. Y'all see the difference between the regular uh, body hook and then the roundhouse body hook. So, here we go. I'm going to do, do the power body hook. Boom. And then, there. That's the regular body hook. Regular body hook. Roundhouse body hook. All right. But again, I like to do the jab then followed by the uh, power body hook. It's very, very effective. So what you do is, boom, jab and then bang. Jab and then bang. One of my, f this, 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 this is absolutely my favorite one-two in the game. Barna. And I love using that. That one two against very aggressive players, man, because it will stop them in their tracks. It will stop them in their tracks and make you think twice of pushing forward. And you'll get rocks off of that combo. Because it comes out so fast. Once you master it, it comes out very fast, especially when you're doing when you're countering, when you sway countering, you make your opponent miss and you throw that combo. 
it comes out fucking fast as shit and you can get rocks off of it. Trust me, it's happened to me. I've done it. I've done it many times. I know y'all saw it in the streams. I've done it many times and I got plenty of rocks off of it. So again, jab, power, body hook. I'm gonna do it. Step in, boom, bang. Boom, bang. Boom, bang. It's easy, simple, and delicious. I'm telling you. I mean, you can also do it body, body, boom, bang. Boom, bang. Again, it's L2, LT, four, and triangle to throw the roundhouse body or the power body hook, depending on what fighter you have. And I will this, I will add this too. Some fighters don't have both of, both of those. They just have the regular uh, body hook, so be mindful of that, okay? So be mindful of that, all right? Now, another combo I like to throw. Everybody does this, but I'm going to still do it anyway for y'all. Is the lead straight followed by the lead body kick or the lead head kick. All right. Y'all already know a lot of people throw this combo. This has been out since the game came out. Everybody was throwing this combo. I think Marshall Mine, shout out to the homie Marshall Mine. He actually put this in one of his uh his videos on his favorite combos in the game is the lead straight, bam, body, body kick. I know y'all know that, but I just wanted to throw that in there too because I throw it. Like, it's very useful and very effective. Is the lead straight, body kick, lead straight. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. That was the push kick, but lead straight, body kick, lead straight, body kick. All right, so I'm not going to delve deep into that. Y'all already know that. Um, another one of my one-twos I like to throw is the jab uppercut. Jab uppercut. All right. Everybody knows how to do a jab uppercut. I'm pretty sure, but I'm going to teach you anyways. All right. So you jab, boom, boom. Lead with the jab, followed by the uppercut. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Another one of my another one of my one twos I like to throw is the the jab another jab uppercut but it's a variation. You're going to do it with the same hand you're jabbing with. Your your jab hand, your lead hand. So it's jab lead uppercut. Jab lead uppercut. So I'm going to do it right here. Boom. Boom boom. That's actually very useful, very, I think, much better than the jab rear uppercut. You know, because it comes out, I think it comes out more deceptive because it's like a pause. It's like a slight pause when you throw in that upper, before you throw the uppercut. So it's very tricky and very, like, deceptive when you're throwing it because your opponent, if you, if you set it up, because you can set it up like this, like doing a jab and rear uppercut, jab, rear uppercut, you see how fast that comes out i think it comes out much faster and then like you throw the jab at them oops i didn't mean to do that that boom dumb boom that's more deceptive man that's way more deceptive man you catch a lot of people off guard with that man so again it's jab uppercut jab uppercut boom easy simple and delicious all right, I want to get back into the um, middle of the octagon with stamina reset. All right, so we're going to reset the stamina. All right, so now we're about to delve. Those are my favorite one-twos I like to throw. All right, now we're about to delve deep into more advanced combos, all right? We're going to delve deep into more advanced combos. So let me... uh. Give me one second, fellas. Let me do something real quick. Let me do something real quick. Okay. 
All right, I'm back. I'm back. Okay, so now we're about to delve deep into the more advanced and more difficult combos to throw that I like to throw. All right. Now, I'm going to just come out and try to teach y'all the far combo. I'm going to just come out and do that first, knock that out the way. All right. Now, y'all see me do a combo that I like to call the far combo. All right. That fucking wins me hella, hella fights. That is like, if all of it lands in succession, it's GG for the opponent. All right. Now, I'm going to do it in succession, and then I'm going to break it down strike by strike. And I'm going to show y'all different variations. Different variations of the combo to switch it up. Like, you don't have to do the five hitter. You can switch it up and do different variations of it. And it will get... And it will, and it will lead you to wins, man. It will get you, like... Like, instant knockout. So, here we go. Alright. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the far combo in succession. Then I'm going to break it down strike by strike. So, here we go. Oops, see, I missed. Okay, fuck that up. Look at that. Rock. Instant rock. That uppercut coming up top. Instant rock. Alright, let's let Jones head uh, recover. Alright, it's recovered enough. Let's do it again. Look at that. That's what I like to call the far combo. Instant GG if all lands in succession. So what I did was, okay, strike by strike, break it down. I lead with the straight, then a body kick. The lead body kick, straight to the body, uppercut to the head, straight to the head. That is the OG far combo. That's the OG far combo. Again, it's straight to the head, body kick, straight to the body, Uppercut to the head, straight to the head. Five hitter, all hit in succession, instant GG. All right. Again, it's straight to the head, body kick. Straight to the body, uppercut to the head, straight to the head. Instant GG. All right. Now, there's different variations that I like to throw. That's the main, that's, that's, the, that's the instant GG, but... There's different variations where you can mix it up and get Insta Rock still. So I'm going to show y'all one variation that I like to throw. I'm going to do it in fast. I'm going to do it in real time. And then I'm going to slow it up strike by strike. Here we go. This is, this is variation number one. Boom. Look at that. Instant Rock. See what I did there? So... I started off with a straight body kick, straight to the body, but then ended with that uppercut. And you can get rocks off of that, too. I like throwing that variation of the far combo more so than my OG far combo. You feel me? Like, because you're rocking the body, and boom, once you know, you know once you rock the body, that's like, damn near, if you're a fucking good, good, good ass striker, it's GG, bro. You just start unloading. So, again, I'm going to do it in real time, and then I'm going to break it down again by strike by strike. Boom. Easy, simple, and delicious. So, again, variation number one, straight body kick, straight to the body, uppercut to the body. All right? So, it's triangle. Boom, triangle, and then the the rear uppercut to the body. All right, so boom, 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 boom. That's variation number one. Variation number two is the far combo to the body. Now, like all to the body, all to the body. All these land, all five of these strikes land in succession. It's the it's the GG to the body. You're gonna get instant body rock most of the time. So, you know, I'm gonna do it in real time, and then I'll break it down strike by strike. Boom, oh, oh, oh. Mm. Well, that time I didn't get the GG to the body, but you know, sometimes games is 
Sometimes this game is boo boo sauce. Kai, it's cool, man. This is just, this is just, this is just the tutorial, man. Tutorials wasn't meant. To, it's not meant to be, uh, <laughs> be fun. This is for people that wants to learn how to get better. Wants to learn what goes on in my mind on how I play the game, man. You know, Kai. I mean, if it's boring to you, bro, that's it's it's cool, man. I mean, you ain't got you ain't got watch, man. I mean, you can exit stage left, bro. But I would like for you to stay and learn something, man. This is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to give back to my subs, man. I want to give. I, I, that's that's cool. That's cool, Kai. Well, you know, good good for you, bro. I'm Division Eight too, man. I know you probably beat my ass in this game, but this is this is just me giving back to my my subs, bro. I mean, <laughs> that's what's up, bro. That's what's up, man. Your Division 8 is born to you because you're great at the game. Okay. There's a lot of people in my chat. Whoever's in my chat are good at the game, but they still want to learn more. They want to learn what goes on in my mind and how I fight. So I'm giving it back to them. This is how I do things. This is what I do to win fights. And again, you don't have to watch. If it's boring to you, you don't have to watch, bro. All due respect. But anyways, done with that. Let me go on with the vari the variation number two again before that little interruption. All right, I'm gonna let his body recover, then I'm gonna break it down strike by strike. Let his body recover and break it down strike by strike. So what I did, you know, lead with the straight body kick. Boom, boom, straight to the body. Uppercut to the body and then power body hook. That's the little tricker right there, the power body hook at the end. So it's straight, body kick, boom, boom, power body hook. Or roundhouse, bo roundhouse body hook. Keep mixing it up. Roundhouse body up. So again, it's straight body kick, straight uppercut, roundhouse body. All right. So I'm gonna do it fast. I'm gonna do it in real time. I'm gonna do it in real time again. Mm. Easy, simple, and delicious once you get the hang of it, man. It's muscle memory, man, to me, man. Once I start throwing them, man, and you know them things be coming out mad fast and mad hard. No homo. Again, Kai, I'm just saying, bro. I mean, it is what it is. Like I said, all due respect, if it's boring to you, man, you ain't got to watch it, man. Like I said, I'm just giving back to my subs. And if you don't think this is a format to you, by all means, it is what it is. But I think it is low-key informative to you, man, because you're here and you're watching. <laughs> so, now variation number three. Variation number three. What's going on? Hey, what's going on, Luca, man? What's going on, bro? How you doing, man? Glad you can join into the tutorial, man. Glad you can come into FAR University, UFC University. <laughs> All right, so what's variation number three? What do I do to like to do? Oh, variation number three of the far combo is this. I'm going to do it in real time, and then I'll slow it up for y'all. So what I did was, was uppercut. This time I'm going to the head after I'm done with the body kick. Is the rear uppercut. Rear uppercut, then lead by the straight. That's variation number three. 
sometimes you, you got to really set that one up because, you know, majority of the time, the opponent is going to be blocking or parrying their head. So I really don't like throwing that variation too much. I only would throw it once I got the body rock or once I'm working the body real well. I don't come out and really throw that. That's going to be one of my first combos to really throw. You feel me? So that's why I would prefer doing the OG far combo because that third strike is the straight. And then once they block to the body, boom. Uppercut to the head, stumble them back, prop more than likely rock them, lead by the straight will drop them. Or I'll do like I'll do the first variation where I'll stop with the uppercut to the body. Like that's actually my favorite one to throw. Is the jab, oh that's a jab, the straight body kick, straight to the body, the uppercut to the body. That actually is my favorite one to throw. Y'all know I love the body snatch too. I love the body snatch. So that's one of my that's that's my favorite one to throw because I do get a lot of body rocks off of that. I don't even need to add the power, the uh, roundhouse to the body to get the rock. So you get the body rocks, and that's when you can start unloading to the brain. You feel me? So. Let me see. When you sway to the side and not to the back, does it make your punches more powerful? Um, nah, a warrior. It's like if you sway in general, or if you if you sway, if you sway counter left, right, or back, if you make the miss and land, it makes you, it does make your it does make your uh strike it does make your strikes uh a little bit more powerful. But if you sway any kind of way, basically, it makes your strengths a little bit more powerful if you make them miss completely and return fire and hit them. You know, if you sway any side warrior. So. All right. <laughs> variation number five. I'm on, on a fifth variation. All right, yeah, I think I'm on the fifth variation. All right, the fifth variation is up. Oh. Fifth variation is that, but more than likely you're not going to hit that combo because that stumble off the uppercut. So you won't want to throw the fifth variation when you got your opponent pressed up against the cage. If you want to head hunt after the body kick. Like throw the, cause I throw the straight uppercut straight. Shout out to Marshall Mind for that combo too. That's one of my other favorite combos I like to throw is that straight uppercut straight. But when I throw the pop, the uh, the straight body kick and try to do that, boy, you land those hits to the head. Got your opponent pressed up against the cage. You already know it's, it's the GG. But uh, yeah. But I just said like, all right, we're going to do the straight uppercut straight. Can't take credit. All credit goes. To Marshall Mind for this. I learned it from him. Everybody learned it from him. Alright, so let me uh, reset this shit and get the stamp in the back. Alright, everybody knows the, 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 the straight uppercut straight. Marshall Mind. I wish he would tune in and hear that I shouted him out on that. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, here we go. Oh, fucked up. Easy, simple, and delicious. So everybody knows it's straight, uppercut, straight. But you gotta be mindful of not once the straight comes out fast, you gotta be mindful if your opponent likes to uh, throw jabs or lead with uh, leg kicks because the straight comes out a little slow and the jabs and shit can interrupt you. Like I said, my variation of it, I do the jab uppercut straight. I love that. I think I, I like that better than the straight uppercut straight because, like I said, that jab's coming out much faster. And that uppercut is very deceptive. Especially if I'm working off a sway counter. If I'm working off a sway counter, do the jab uppercut straight. Bro, 
Bro, that is a very, 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 very smart combo. A lovely combo to throw. You know, like I said, I, I love throwing that better than the straight uppercut straight because the straight is a much slower punch, as everybody knows. So, again. Love that. Very deceptive, very clean. This feed is dope. Harold Bridgeforth. What's going on, Harold Bridgeforth? How you doing today, man? Glad you could tune into far as UFC University. Or UFC Versity, as King Tro called it. Just going off some of the combos and strikes I like to throw. And hopefully y'all can implement it in your game if you still play the game. So again, we was I was breaking on the the jab, uppercut straight. Like I said, that jab, that uppercut is very deceptive coming from the jab after the jab, man. Straight uppercut straight. The uppercut's coming up but much faster. And your opponent and your opponent will uh your opponent's gonna guess and block his head or whatever and try to like attempt to defend that or probably parry that. So with that uppercut, like I said, the uppercut. It's very deceptive, man, because if you land that jab, it's going to stop them in their tracks. And then they're going to try to react to hit you or either block. More than likely, they'll try to try to react and hit you back. And with that uppercut coming up after the jab, man, it's going to fucking... You're going to get it. I think you're going to get an instant, like, rock, man. Well, not instant rock, but an instant, like, stumble. And then when you leave, come back with that... Come up, come back with the straight. Bro. You get rocks, man. Get easy rocks off of that, man. Especially against reactive fighters that's trying to, like, hit you when, when you hit them. Oh, my goodness. I'm fucking up. There we go. Why well, I can't. My bad, guys. I was messing up. <laughs> I was messing up. But again, that uppercut straight. Very deceptive. Very, very good to throw. All right. Now, most of y'all know I take my boxing seriously in this game. I love to throw hands. I take it very, very, <laughs> I take it very, very seriously. Now, I'm keeping the health on to show y'all. I'm keeping the health on pain to show y'all that these combos, like, they really work. It can, you can really get rocks off these combos, man. That's what I'm keeping the health on. Alright, so. Now, I'm about to, y'all know, like I said, y'all, I'm very, very, very prideful in my box. And I take it very seriously in this game. I love dropping people just throwing my hands. Like, I like throwing kicks. Don't get me wrong. As you say, as in my far combos, I need kicks to utilize the far combo. But y'all know, when it comes down to it, I'm throwing hands. I'm going to throw them hands, bro. So... I'm going to show y'all a real advanced combo that I like to throw just using the hands and you can get easy rocks off of it. So all these combos are most definite. What I'm showing y'all, y'all can get rocks off these combos if all lands in succession, I'm telling you. So here's an advanced combo I like to throw just using my hands. All right. So... I did jab, power, I keep saying power, jab, roundhouse body, uppercut straight. Again, jab, roundhouse to the body, uppercut straight. One more time, jab, jab, uppercut straight, jab, roundhouse, uppercut straight. Easy, simple, and delicious once you get the hang of it. So, again, I'm going to do it in real time. Boom. 
And you can do the regular body hook if you prefer the regular body hook, you know. If your muscle memory ain't going to be that great or good to remember the whole L2, oh, I said L2, think about Xbox. The whole um, L1, both L1 and L2. I mean, you can just hold L2 and throw the regular body hook. It'll still work for you, okay? Actually, throwing that regular body hook, leading with the uppercut, I see, leading with that uppercut straight will get you to stumble. Because I was throwing, y'all see, I was throwing a power body hook, and I wasn't getting the, um, I wasn't getting the stumble, the stumble animation. You see that? I threw the power body hook, and when I came up with the uppercut straight, he didn't stumble. But look when I throw the regular body hook. I get the stumble animation so it'll be better for y'all and i gotta start doing that more since i just figured that out um don't throw the power body hook if you're going to come back up top with the uppercut okay so once again i'm gonna do the i'm gonna do the power body hook no no stumble no rock so let me do the regular body hook Oops, I didn't, I didn't do the uppercut. Sorry. Look at that. You get the rock. Well, you'll get the stumble or whatever. More likely than not, if your opponent's trying to react, like react, fight you or whatever, and try to strike off of that, you may, you will, you'll get rocks. You'll get rocks. I'm telling you, you will, you will get rocks, guys. Look, see, rock. I'm telling you, it's gonna, it, it happens, man. Don't get discouraged if you do. Yeah, uh, main tip, a, a real good tip to learn, guys. Do not get discouraged if you land all the comp, like you land all the hits in succession in any of these combos I'm trying to teach y'all, and it doesn't get you right. Don't get discouraged. Shit happens like that in this game. Do not get discouraged. But I'm showing you that it will get you right, but sometimes it won't happen. Like, it's not 100% guaranteed you'll get rocks off the combos. You feel me? Most of the time, not all the time, okay? So don't get discouraged, man. Don't get discouraged if you don't get rocks. Like, oh, he's teaching me all these things. Oh, man, like, it, it, it's not helping me. I didn't get rocked. I thought it missed every one of them, or I hit every one of them. My opponent's still standing, and I get hit by uh, 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 just one head kick. And I got... It happens, man. Just keep at it. Be patient. Be patient. Keyword, patient. It will come. It will come, I'm telling you. Like I said, especially if your opponent is trying to react, fight you, and you're hitting them, and still hitting them with the combos, the rock's going to come if they try to react, fight you, and, and, and hit you while you're hitting them. I'm telling you. Or if you catch them, if you catch them off a beautiful counter, you sway, and then boom, the, uh, the strength's going to come out much faster, much crisper and cleaner. You're going to get your rocks, man. I'm telling you. So, again, we're going to do the jab, power body hook, uppercut straight. Jab, roundhouse, uppercut straight. Jab, regular body hook, uppercut straight. Look at that. Look at that. Easy, simple, delicious. So I would recommend y'all to do the regular body hook if y'all gonna do that combo. Is do the regular body hook because you'll get the stumble. You'll get the stumble animation. Hundred percent. You'll get that stumble animation. I don't understand why you don't get the stumble animation when you're uh, following uh, with the uppercut after you hit the power body hook. Or the roundhouse body hook, excuse me. I don't understand why you don't get the stumble animation. Mind bothers me, but yeah, just do the regular body hook, fellas, if you want to get that stumble animation, okay? Alright, so another another combo that I learned from Marshall Mai, he actually did this in our fight when we did the Gus and Gus Mary match. He caught me with it a couple times, man. And uh, I rewatched our fight. I rewatched the fight a lot of times, man, just to see what kind of mistakes, what kind of errors I made in that fight, in our first fight. And I saw that he was countering with his straight, and then he would just unload with with this little combo that I'm about to show y'all, man. So here we go. This is what he was doing to me in our fight. So he he was countering with his straight. Then he'll come out with the uh, with the body hook. He'll straight power body hook, uppercut, jab straight. 
So again, he hit me with the straight power body hook, uppercut, jab straight. So one more time, it's straight, power body hook, uppercut, jab straight. I'm gonna do it in real time again. And look at that, rock. Well, I guess I got the rock size just beating up his head, but y'all get the point. So he was catching me with that combo cleanly in our first fight, man. So I went into practice mode. I started practicing that combo, man. I'm like, yo, like that shit is dope, man. <laughs> Again, shout out to Marshall Mind, man. I will be sending him the link to this uh to this little tutorial, man. Show him that, you know, uh, gave him that shout out. So, anywho, we're going to do that one more time. We're doing a slow motion. Break it down strike by strike. Straight, power body hook, uppercut, jab straight. Again, it's straight, body hook, uppercut, jab straight. Easy, simple, and delicious. Once you get the hang of it. Again, you can throw the regular body hook. Let me see when I throw the regular body hook. Yeah, so I recommend y'all when y'all if y'all gonna land those four to five hit combos, I just showed y'all with the this, that, and the uh 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 uh. Don't throw don't throw the power body hooks, okay? Do not throw the power body hooks. Throw the regular body hooks, okay? Because you'll get the stumble animation. You'll get the stumble animation, all right? So, do not throw the power body hooks if you're going to land those five, four to five hit combos or whatever using your hands. All right, do not throw those power body hooks because you're not going to get the stumble animation when you're coming over the top with the uppercut, all right? So, I'm going to do it one more time. The martial mind, the, the, the second martial mind combo. Look at that. <laughs> Oops. Next combo we're going to delve into is going to be all headshots. Very, very simple and delicious combo. Uh, very simple and delicious combo, but it's going to be all to the head, man. Very simple. So it's going to be the jab. It's going to be a jab straight, uppercut straight. Simple, right? So it's Marshall Mize combo. It's going to be Marshall Mize combo, but you're leading it with the jab first. You lean with the jab first, then straight uppercut straight. You're just adding a jab to it. So it's jab, straight, uppercut, straight. Uh, let's let his head recover before we drop him. So, all right, his head recovered. All right, so, and yes, yeah, jab, straight, uppercut, straight, all head shots. Now in real time. Easy, simple, and delicious. Now you can create a little variation with that and go to the body with the straight and then come back over the top with the uppercut straight. So I'm gonna show y'all there in real time. I missed that uppercut. There we go.
So again. So jab, straight to the body, over the top of the uppercut, and then straight. Jab, straight to the body, uppercut, straight. One more time in real time. Easy, simple, delicious. All right, guys. Now, we're going to get into the counter striking. The, st the sway strikes. The sway jabs, the straight straights, the sway uppercuts. All right. Now, if you're a counter fighter like how I am, this brings you very, 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 this is going to bring you very, very much uh, good. You feel me? It's going to bring you, bring you success. A lot of good. A lot of success. The sway counters. All right. So I'm gonna show y'all the sway jabs and sway straight. So y'all know how to sway, right? Your whole L T, your whole L T or L two, boom, you sway, boom, you sway. So if you're in the red corner, sway up, sway down, sway back, sway duck, and you duck. All right. So to do a sway jab, if you're in the red corner. To do a sway jab, if you're in the red corner, you sway down, boom, and press square. You let go, you sway down, let go, press square. You sway down, let go, press square. To do a sway jab. All right? So hold L2, hold down, you let both of them go, then you press square. Took a lot of time for me to learn that. And I know probably you guys know it. Or some of you having a hard time doing it. But again, if you're in the red corner, if you're in the red, let's see, let me see, hold on. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it with John Jones too. If you're in the red corner, you hold down. I think it's I think it's hold down on both, both sides if you're orthodox. Because I know if you're southpaw, you got to hold up and then do it. And then... Press triangle because triangle is the jab when you're orthodox or when you're in southpaw, excuse me. So, yeah, so if you're in southpaw, if you're in southpaw, you hold up, you sway up. If you're orthodox, you sway down and then press the jab button. All right. So, again, sway jab if you're in uh, southpaw. Sway up, press triangle. Orthodox, sway down, let go, press square. All right, you got quickly, let's go, press square. All right, now, vice versa, you want to counter straight. Now, if in orthodox, you sway up and then press the straight button, press triangle if you're orthodox. So you sway up, press triangle, you see, did the sway counter straight. Easy, simple, delicious. And if you're in southpaw, you know your straight is square, you sway down, boom, sway down, boom, sway down, boom. That's how you do it. So, sway uppercuts. Orthodox. Sway down. Bang. There it is. There it is. There's the animation. Sway down. Press back and square. And then if you try to do a, a lead, lead uppercut, there it is. Sway up, sway up. You see how 
You see, see that animation? See that sway animation he did with the uppercut? That's the sway uppercut. Lee sway uppercut. Sway up, press triangle. Sway up, press back and triangle. Sway up, let go, press back and triangle. Sway up, let go to up. Let go, press uh, uh, back and triangle. Very useful if you're a counterfighter, fellas. I'm telling you, in an orthodox, I mean, southpaw, you can easily see it in southpaw how the animation is. So, those are the sway counters, y'all. I think you do it off a hook, so. Yeah, I did it off a hook. You can do the sway hooks, too. Sway hooks is, you know, sway down. Boom. I hope this is, I hope this is really formidable, informative to y'all. I really do. Can you see the lead head kick land after the, that last combo? All right. I think he was talking about the um the punches. All right, I'm gonna do it right now, Batista. Hold on. Oh, I'm pressing the kick button. Hold on, let me let me restart it. I'm gonna do it right now for you, Batista. Ah, man, I'm messing up. There it is. All right, yeah. It lands, Batista. It lands. It lands off of that. Oh, damn. We got John Joe's off spaghetti leg and shit. Messing up my combos. Messing up combos. Messing it up. Yeah, it's not going to land off of that. Okay, it lands off that because you know you don't get that. You don't get the what's the name off of that. Now, my final combo that I like to throw, the final combo, I just delved, delved deep, dug up not too long ago, is this combo right here, fellas. And I really don't even like throwing elbows like that, but once I figure out this shit, this shit brought me, like, it really, like, brought me, brought me some wins. So, here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta stand. So for this combo to land, fellas, you have to stand opposite uh, opposite stands to what your opponent is standing. So if your opponent is standing in the orthodox stance, you have to switch southpaw for all because because the stumble. I don't know, like y'all y'all see like after that sh after the um when the elbow land and I try to throw the uppercut, the stumble from the elbow, you know, drove him too far away. See, I missed that uppercut. I'm landing that straight at the end, but I missed the uppercut. But if you stand in southpaw, or your opponent's orthodox, you will land that uppercut after the uh, stumble, after he stumbles off the elbow. So it's see, see that all of it landed. So it's jab, then the elbow, then the uppercut straight. Let me go do it again. Look at that. 
Easy, simple, delicious. I love throwing that, man. That's a little sneaky and deceptive combo, too. Like, they get... To get rocks, man, because that elbow is coming out a little slower. And if your opponent is reactive, a reactive fighter, and you land that elbow cleanly while they try to hit you, bro, you can get a rock. Especially if you got John Jones. Y'all already know John Jones got elbows. So if John Jones, if you land that elbow with John Jones, he got the Razor Five el Razor elbows, level five Razor elbows. So you know it's gonna be GG. I'm gonna show y'all right now with John Jones. I'm gonna go to John Jones. So I'm gonna stand south, Paul. Oh, I missed. Hmm. Interesting. Why am I not hitting that? Alright, hold on. I don't understand why I'm not hitting that. Okay, he dropped after the uppercut, but y'all see what I mean. I don't understand why John Jones not hitting the elbow. Maybe because the elbow was like so hitting him so hard, it's making him stumble back a little further than Gustafson hit elbows when uh, Gustafson hit the elbows. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Now it's starting to land. I don't understand why I wasn't landing before. So again, we are gonna do jab. So you stand if your opponent's if your opponent's right-handed, you stand in a, a southpaw position. You start off with the jab, then an the elbow, then an the uppercut, and then straight. Oh my god, he just oh my god, he just died and started twitching. Oh my god, he's having a seizure on the damn ground. Somebody get custody. Somebody call the ambulance. Yeah, I catch my drift, man. That that's that's what it is, man. Do it one more time, and I'm gonna go over all the all the combos in real time. All all the combos that I that I try to teach y'all, I'm gonna go over in real time one more time. So I'm gonna do this one combo, do the do the elbow combo, and then I'm gonna go over all the other combos again. Oops, I I did it wrong. All right, let's head recover. So be mindful of that combo, y'all. If y'all would really want to land that in succession, make sure y'all stand southpaw if your opponent's right-handed and vice versa. If your opponent's southpaw, you want to stand right-handed because you see again, if I stand right-handed and try to land it, my, up, my, my uppercut after the elbow is missing. So you stand southpaw, boom. It's all about the angles, baby. It's all about the angles. Alright, so now I'm going to go over all the combos that I went over with y'all earlier. And then I'm out of here, man. Make sure y'all keep watching this video over and over and over again to try to get the combos down. To try to match them, please. Let me know if it really works for y'all in fights, man. So, we're going to do the... The far combo. I'm going to go over the far combo because I know y'all love that far combo. So, here we go. The far combo. OG far combo. Like I said, I'm going over it in real time. I'm not going to break it down. I'm just doing it in real time.
What's going on, crooks? <laughs> I'm actually about to I'm about to stop the stream in a little bit. I was telling everybody, man, just go over, watch it over and over again, and make sure y'all master these combos, man. I was standing up with Anza. <laughs> for real, how'd that go for you, man? You whip, you whip his ass. All right. Do the far combo again. I was standing up with Anza too, man. I almost had him. Oh, he died. Yeah, chicken ain't gonna land after that one. Oops, show that. Sorry guys, my controller died. I gotta put it on the charger. <laughs> Put the control on the child just. All right, but yeah, guys, that will be it for the little tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I ain't gonna be doing no rank matches on here on the PS4 side. I just want to get that out the way. I know y'all probably be like, "Yo, fight! Go get good fights in." Nah, I'm, I'm not going to stream fights. I just want to do that to give back to y'all, to let y'all know how I play, what goes on in my head, how I get rocks, and stuff like that. And teach y'all how to strike better, man. What leads me to victories. So, again, I would really would love for y'all to watch this video over and over again. This just really was informative, and it really did help y'all so y'all can get the muscle memory down on how to throw these combos, okay? Take yourselves into practice mode, man. And just shout these combos. Get these combos down, man. Let me know which one is your favorite combo to use. Okay? Please do. Let me know. Send it to me. Hit me up. Alright? Let me know what combos y'all did, y'all use, and what's your favorite one. Alright? It's been real. I'm glad to help out. To help y'all out. And, um... Really, really appreciate it. Like, share, and subscribe to this, to the channel. Get this video out here to everybody, man. So, you know, again, people will know how I play the game, how I strike, and hopefully it will help them to get better. Like I said, hopefully it helps y'all to get better. All right? So, it's been real. Love y'all. 
Y'all already know what it is. Peace, love, and happiness. I'm going to send y'all off with the far combo. Right, I wanna drop I wanna drop him with the far combo. I'm gonna send you off with a drop. There we go. Look at that. Alright guys. Peace.